okay so what next we can do here we first uh, can give the percentage of uploading like here we are saying upload is in progress and in a parenthesis i can show the batch detail dot progress and it's going to give the exact percentage yep so after that we should have a percentage sign also like this <laughs> okay that's amazing and uh, next we need to update this in real time how we can update one thing is there see we are having this fetch details only once that means we are having this fetch fetch detail and uh, we are have getting the details of the batch and that's done but after that what we want we want to have it running for every time until the progress will become 100 percent so see we can use the set interval so set interval and it should be for let's say two second and then inside that i'm going to call it and i'm going to call batch details let's try this one and is it going to work that means on the network tab we should get the request for every two second so here we are and let's see batch okay yes we are getting detail for every two second that means now if i start the queue worker you will see it should increase <laughs> that means the progress should increase yes you can see it's now converted to 55 57 and then 59 is there so this now become a real-time uploading system so slowly it's uploading and on our database it's uh, yes reducing the jobs filling the sales table and completing the batch amazing so this is a very easy step but we have a issue what issue is this first we need to check that if it is 100 percent, we don't want to hit the api again and again so for that we can hmm what we can do actually uh, we are going to say here or maybe inside the set interval or maybe just for the set interval like here i say if uh, batch details dot dot progress is equal to 100 then uh, or i can say if it is not equal to 100 then only i'm going to run this batch otherwise do nothing okay so see after this i should clear it it's 94 percent and we need to wait a little bit to uh, have it 100 percent which i think will going to complete very soon on our batch job okay so job is uh, now done and it's not filling everything because we have some uh, failed job so see we have the failed job i can try with uh, this retried or tried field with the three so it should done with that but since it is already moved to uh, failed job we need to uh, do another upload so that we can see so first you can see if there is failed job we cannot show this progress bar or we can say uh, upload it was not successful or something anything you can do but for now i'm going to clear the database also like removing the batches and removing the sales table and then since we don't have anything inside our database and now you can see we should get the form which we are not getting we are getting unexpected end of json input why is there so i think yeah because of this hard-coded one <laughs> so see initially it's uh, the batch progress is not defined and uh, then we are saying if it is not defined that means it's not equal to 100 so it's fetching the detail which we don't want to fetch for the previous detail so first we need to say uh, if batch detail is there and batch detail dot progress is not 100 then fetch the detail 
by doing this we will get rid of this uh, which is we are not getting why is that hmm. still we are having it okay so we are not getting that uh, json kind of error but still we have this why we have this because we are checking for batch detail and batch detail is a object so if you are checking just for empty object it say true so we need to say if progress is uh, there like if we have the batch progress then show the uh, progress part if we don't have the uh, the batch progress then show the form and now since we don't have any uh, like progress for the batch we are ha we are having this form next you can see we are having this hard coded batch id now instead of that once we upload then we get the data and in the data we get the batch detail so first what we can do we can have a batch id so use a state for the batch id batch id initially it's uh, uh, null okay then here we can say uh, we get set batch id uh, this is going to be the data dot id because in the data we are getting the batch details so batch id we are getting once we have the batch id so instead of giving this as a hard coded one we want to use the batch id we have created above okay so when we upload yes we are having this batch id here so this is going to work this should work actually so let's see when we are having the set interval batch details doesn't have anything we are setting the batch id but this is not going to do the task see we are going to upload it we have the upload we get the data from the batch id like batch id kind of thing on our component if we check for upload page you can see yes we have a state of batch id but we have not triggered batch details so one thing we can do we can simultaneously set the id also uh, trigger this batch details okay so let's have this one and just after that i'm going to trigger the batch details for now i'm going to remove everything so i'm going to clear everything and every table is now cleared one more time let's refresh choose the file and click on upload and we should have some error we have the error and the error is because batch id is null hmm so what i think before setting the batch id we are calling this batch details okay for that we can hmm, how we can do that so we can actually get the id from here and i say like this is by default is going to be null and batch id is equal to if we have the batch id so this is not uh, we can say uh, current <laughs> batch id is equal to if we are providing the id give that otherwise get the batch id so we can pass the data dot id here and since we have that one more time we need to uh, clear the table so i can say php artisan migrate fresh delete and recreated every tables one more time click on file upload or choose file and click on upload once we have the details batch current batch okay so this should be const and we need to provide the current batch id here one more thing okay one more time uh, refresh table is refreshed reload the page choose a file click on upload and this is going to upload and we have the progress i think and this is not removed 
Hmm. So there is some issue here. Why it is not removed? We are getting batch ID. Also, you can see we are not having uh, constant details. That is because we have not triggered this set interval. So let's solve these two problems.